Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin, and I review a lot of mini PCs here on the channel, like this one from Voyo that we looked at about two weeks ago. And whenever I do a mini PC review, a lot of folks ask, hey, does it work well as a Plex server? And I always try it, especially when there's new uh, iterations of chip technology like we have on the Voyo here. This is the new Apollo Lake architecture for low-end chips. And unfortunately, in our original review, this really did not work very well as a Plex server. But uh, there is a new beta of the Plex server that now implements hardware decoding with uh, Intel chips like what we have here on the Voya, which does offer some improvements. We're going to take a closer look at this uh, in just a second. I do want to mention though that the Voyo PC here came in free of charge from GearBest.com and I also got a lifetime subscription from Plex free of charge because we often do a lot of Plex videos here on the channel. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. So let's take a look and see what I've got going on my screen right now. So I've got this special beta version installed on this device. I'll put a link to it down below. You can find it in their uh, forums. I believe this is available to anyone who wants to try it, but it might be limited to Plex Pass subscribers. So I'm going to put that link down below. Uh, let me know down in the comment stream if you're able to get it and you're not a Plex Pass subscriber. Uh, either way, though, you need to be a registered member of Plex in order to use it, but you can register without having to pay anything, and I'll put a link down below for that as well uh, so you can find it. So what we've got right now is uh, a single movie here playing on my iPhone. This is a Blu-ray MKV file that is being transcoded. I think it's uh, 10 megabits per second at 1080p. Uh, so there is some transcoding going on right now on our uh, Voyo PC here. And if I pull up the stats here, you can see that uh, we're only using about 65% of the CPU now, sometimes a little less than that, as you can see, as it gets caught up on things. So uh, the transcoding now is a lot more efficient, uh, yet the movie here is playing uh, back very, very smoothly. In fact, I'll put a link down to the uh, review that we did last time of uh, Plex running on this device without this hardware acceleration going on. You can see how uh, big a difference this is. Sometimes we're seeing a significant CPU decline, uh, and it's really actually been doing quite well all night as I've been playing back this movie, and that is because uh, they have this uh, special hardware decoding now enabled in this beta version. Now, if you do get the beta version and decide to install it, you do have to enable this feature, and they kind of bury it too. So uh, what you need to do is go into your settings screen here once you get this installed. By the way, they do recommend if you have a version of Plex already installed that you uninstall it. So my advice would be to try this on a secondary server so you don't mess up your existing one. Uh, they say most of your settings will be carried over, but if you do have a lot riding on Plex, I would suggest just uh, taking it easy and uh, putting it on a separate device. Uh, so what I had to do here is go up to the settings and then go over to server, and there is a transcoder option here, and this is, of course, pegging our CPU a little bit because we are going through the uh, server here. And what you want to do, though, is go to show advanced because this feature is hidden in the advanced menu. So when I clicked on that uh, show advanced, you can see now that I have uh, the option here to use hardware acceleration when available, and I check that on and save the changes, and that is why we're able now to play back this movie uh, so smoothly here on my phone. Now, what I did want to try here in real time is uh, playing back a second Blu-ray MKV uh, while we're transcoding the first one to see how many streams we can uh, get going simultaneously on this. Remember, this is still in beta, so I'm sure we're going to see some optimizations as things progress here, so we're going to get the uh, next stream started. I did find that the streams do take a little bit to get going, so I'm just going to let this thing queue up, and when it's ready, uh, we'll take a look and see how both are doing. All right, so it took a little bit of coaxing, but I did finally get uh, the stream here started on the iPad, and uh, the other movie here is still playing back just fine, and you can see what our uh, CPU performance is right now. So it's about 40% per stream, which is significantly lower than it was when we were looking at this before this hardware encoding beta version came out. So this is a dramatic improvement, and it seems to be working pretty well at the moment, and I haven't seen anything uh, drop off on either device here. So I think we can't possibly get another one in, but uh, this does give you an idea as to uh, what hardware encoding acceleration will do for Plex in the coming year, and this is pretty exciting to see here. So this is uh, Intel only at the moment, so this will not work with an AMD APU, uh, nor will it use your GPU's fancy video encoder either. So uh, I think they're just kind of focusing on getting their Intel performance working first, uh, which is probably a good place to start because a lot of folks want to run uh, Plex on their Intel-powered network-attached storage devices, and uh, the same chip that's in here is often in many of the those devices as well. So they can get it working for these. It should start working across the board. We did see in the 
uh, WDPR2100 review I did a couple of weeks ago, which is a network attached storage device. Uh, its version of Plex was hardware accelerated and we saw very similar performance to what we're seeing here. So I think we're gonna start seeing that uh, hardware acceleration that first made its debut in the WD earlier uh, start to make its way out to uh, other Intel powered devices here. I did run this earlier on my Kangaroo PC. I saw similar performance there as well and that I was able to actually get a uh, Blu-ray transcoding stream going on an Atom chip uh, and that worked pretty well also, but it does seem to be working better here on Apollo Lake where we can get at least uh, two streams going at the same time. So a lot of exciting stuff coming up for Plex, I think, in the coming year uh, because now you can actually do something with these little mini PCs that you couldn't do before, which is have them work as a uh, fully functional transcoding Plex server. This is not perfect yet. I can't uh, jump around to different portions of the movie reliably just yet. So there are some things that they've got to work out, but as a uh, proof of concept, this is definitely working. And I think uh, as time goes on here, we're going to see a lot of cool stuff for Plex in the coming year. So stay tuned. We'll be covering a lot of it as it happens. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.